lot of people have been asking me if I could do a free kick tutorial and I know there's tons of free kick tutorials already on YouTube but I thought I'd give you guys my own version and give you a few of my own tips now let me start by saying free kicks are not something I practice a lot and it's something I'm definitely gonna work on more this season but my biggest pet peeve is when players go to the field every day and they're really motivated to get better but all they do is take free kicks, hit dead balls all day. And I know it's a lot of fun, it's great, but realistically in the match, how many free kicks do you actually take? Sometimes you go the whole game, sometimes you might even go the whole season if you're not the free kick taker without hitting a dead ball. So why is this something that you put 100% of your time into? I think it's something that you should work on 15, 20 minutes after every training session, and it's definitely a great skill to have because one day it will come in very handy. So today I wanted to show you guys a few free kicks I took, and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about technique and talk mainly about one change that I made while I was taking these shots that got me much better results. So here we're in a slow motion, and this was before I made the change, but as you can see, there's a few things to my free kick technique. I don't have a very big run up, I take a slow run up, I plant my foot beside the ball, point my toes to the net, and then the foot contact with the ball is I'm trying to push it with almost the big side of my big toe, the inside of my big toe, pushing that through the ball. I'm trying to visualize the path of the ball, I'm not just hitting it and hoping it, I'm trying to visualize the path that that ball is going to take. So I'm trying to hit this top corner here. I'm trying to get it over the wall. Number one, so important. The worst thing you can do is put it into the wall. But I'm pushing it over the wall. I'm visualizing the path that ball is going to take. And I'm trying to curl it to that far corner. Now you can see my body movement. It's taking me away from goal. And that's helping the ball curl back. Now here's the change I made. Now if you can see there, I put a lot more emphasis on landing on my shooting foot. Before I was just hitting it and kind of guiding it there. When I started doing this, as you can see, pushing through the ball, same technique, but I'm really flowing through on my shooting foot, as you'll see here. My side foot plants, my planting foot points towards the goal, but this foot coming through the ball and landing on my shooting foot. This allowed me to get much more whip on the ball, and it actually allowed me to be much more consistent as far as hitting the net, not putting it over the net. It would really get more pace on it, but it would make sure that the ball came back down after it went over the wall. So I was really happy with this one change and unfortunately it started raining at this point and I had to end the session but I want to get out there this week and practice this technique some more. So as you can see in slow motion, short run up, eye on the ball, yes I'm trying to visualize, get it over the wall, plant that foot pointing towards the net, hit with the inside of my big toe and I'm falling through in the air landing on my shooting foot and that was really allowing me to get more whip on the ball. So if you guys like this free kick tutorial and you want some more tips, again, I only did this in a few minutes before it started raining, so I can definitely do some more of this in the future. Now you can see my two different techniques. The one I wasn't jumping through on my shooting foot, I was just kind of placing the ball there. I wasn't getting enough power. But as soon as I started to make that change, hitting the ball with the same technique, body over the ball, planting foot pointing towards the goal, hitting with the inside of my big toe, but jumping through on that shooting foot, I was getting more pace, more accuracy, and more bend on the ball.